school for VMGS Tech with some of my year 10 design and technology students who are undertaking the competition F1 in school. This is a video on the bus equipment you need to get racing. The track is made out of 5 4 meter lengths and 1 2 meter length. Trunking conduit is attached to core flute with timber ribbing underneath. Inside the conduit are some wooden poles which slide neatly inside the ends of the next piece of log. Assembly is very straightforward. Gaffer tape is used to join the gaps and one person can typically carry two pieces of track by themselves making it very transportable. At each end of the track, a custom machined piece of timber is designed to slot into the two end pieces of trunk and conduit. High tensile fishing line is threaded through the car and is knotted in the end through a bobby pin. This bobby pin is pulled tight, placed into the hole and then placed underneath the hook to set the tether line at the right level. The braking system is simply a large piece of cloth or towel placed at the end of the finish line. Low tech but works every time. The timing unit has a 64 by 16 LED dot matrix display powered by an Arduino Mega. The race starts when the fifth light goes out. The interface is kept simple. A switch to change between auto and drag mode and a reset button which restarts each race. On the front of the display, the connectors are found for the trigger inputs and launch units. 3.5mm headphone jacks are used for convenience and a snug fit. On the rear of the display is a stainless steel DIN socket, which runs a high quality shielded cable to the timing gate. Trigger handles are 3D printed and contain a precise momentary switch. Launch units are CNC machined from acrylic for accuracy and strength. Height adjustment to suit various size cars is achieved by loosening the thumb screw on the back, sliding the center unit up or down, and then tightening. Priming the launcher is as simple as pulling the handle until it locks in place. The mechanism uses dual tension springs in an over-center configuration. This means there are no physical latches for reliable and consistent operation. At the finishing end of the track is an infrared timing gate only visible through a camera lens. On the outside of the track is a focused infrared beam. The center of the track houses twin infrared photo transistors. No matter how fast the car or how close the race, this timing gate offers reliable operation. 